Hello, my name is Asian A. Thomas and I am the Youth Assistive Technology Specialist for the Michigan Assistive Technology Program. Today I'm going to be showing and demonstrating how to use the Cricut machine. Um, this is a Cricut Maker machine. It is a cutting machine, but it can also do a lot of different things that we are going to talk about today. So this Cricut Maker is a cutting machine that can be used for um, assistive technology for arts and crafts and also assistive technology for employment. The machine is very helpful and beneficial to those with disabilities that may not have mobility in their hands um, or if they have a trimmer where they're not able to use certain cutting tools um, or if they are having any issues or trouble um, finding a job or a typical career, this machine can start to open up possibilities to become an entrepreneur and start your own business. There's so many things that this machine can allow you to create. Um, so I'm going to go into that a little bit more on the specific things that this machine can do. But just an overview of what this machine um, costs, what it looks like to have the materials and different things involved with using this machine. Um, the Cricut Maker can um, be found and purchased online. Um, you can purchase um, at Amazon or you can also find them in your local art, arts and craft stores like Michaels and Joann's Fabrics. Um, this machine is pretty expensive, so it is an investment to purchase a Cricut machine. Um, this is the newest model. It's called a Cricut Maker again. Um, and this machine usually costs about $379 at the high end. But Michaels and Joann's, they have sales all the time that I've seen. Um, I've seen this Cricut marked down as low as about $200. Um, and there's also other versions that are um, smaller than this, a Cricut Joy, um, but it does not cut as many materials. And then there's also um, their older models, which um, they don't cut as many materials as well. And then they're also cut a little bit slower, um, but they still do a wide range of different things. And those uh, machines can cost anywhere from about $100 to $230. So what this device does overall, again, a Cricut Maker, Cricut cutting machine, so it cuts. It cuts pretty much any material, all materials that you can think of um, that can be used for arts and crafts. So it can cut paper, but paper that are in different um, thicknesses. So it can cut thin printer paper, and then it can also cut cardstock paper, label paper, um, even poster board. Um, you can also use the Cricut to cut felt, um, vinyl, um, adhesive paper again, um, fabric, leather, wood, acrylic, um, press board, <laughs> um, and that board. Uh, so it can cut a, a wide variety of different um, things. And then you can also use the Cricut to draw. So it can draw out um, words. Uh, different letters, different font styles, um, calligraphy in cursive, and also um, you can use the machine to stamp different designs that you create, and then you can also create folded lines um, to make different greeting cards and boxes um, or other 3D projects with the machine. Um, and then it also has another feature called the print to cut feature. That is a feature where you will use a different, um, a separate printer. You would print out a design and then you would use the Cricut to cut out that design. So that's a cool feature. I use that a lot. Um, and then you can also use the Cricut to create um, customized apparel. Um, so if you wanted to create a design, um, you can then print out that design onto some sort of like iron on or adhesive um, paper and use the machine to cut that design out. Um, and then Cricut also makes um, press materials, I'm sorry, press tools that um, you can then iron on and press onto a bag, a shirt, a hat, um, small wallet pouches. <laughs> There's so many different things that you could do with this machine um, and create customized uh, apparel or even labels. So some of the tools that we'll need to use this device um, you do have to be connected to the internet um, or Wi-Fi, and then you'll also have to um, have 
Bluetooth connected. So you'll need the machine and then um, a tablet, an iPad or a smartphone or a computer. Um, and then you will connect that tablet or device um, to the um, Bluetooth connection to the machine. Um, everything that you're going to put inside of this machine will have to be on the Cricut mat. So this is a Cricut mat and it is adhesive so it will, you will stick the material onto the mat and then insert it into the machine for it to cut. And then you'll also need whatever type of material that you're cutting. So you will use paper, that's what I'll be showing you to cut today. Um, but whatever the material is, so like I said, the iron um, vinyl, uh, paper, or felt, um, leather, or wood, you'll put it on the mat and then it will cut it. Um, and then not always necessary, but helpful. Cricut also makes different tools. So they have a scraper tool that you use to scrape the material off of the mat because this mat is adhesive and it sticks to it. Um, and then they also have other tools like tweezers to help you pull off. Um, so if you have like smaller thin lines that, um, that you had to cut, those finer lines, um, or just more intricate designs, it helps you um, tweeze off and peel off um, what you cut so that you don't rip your design. The Cricut Maker is a great assistive technology device. Um, because it can help someone that does not have mobility in their hands or um, is not able to cut in those fine lines. Um, if they have a tremor in their hand, in their hands, um, so in, or are unable to grip other cutting tools. Um, it gives people with disabilities the ability to work on personal projects, school projects, or even work projects. Um, and you can work on these projects independently, so without the assistance of someone having to come and cut out whatever um, design that you were needing, you know, you get to that part and it's like, oh, I need help with the cutting. You have your Cricut machine here where you can design whatever you want to cut and then the machine will cut it for you. So um, as far as this machine being used um, as a business and to become your own entre become an entrepreneur, have your own um, business to sell the items. There's so many different things that you can be creative with to um, make using this device. It just brings more opportunities um, and possibilities for whatever you can think of to design on the um, Cricut design space. And then you can create that, cut it out, you know, make these different craft projects and then sell them. I would say this device is pretty easy to use, especially once you get the hang of everything. So even um, once I got the hang of getting my design put somewhere and say I need to make a large quantity of something, um, I use multiple mats at a time. So it's just really quick me inserting, uh, putting the paper on the mat, inserting the mat into the machine, and then it just cuts it for me. Um, so once you get the hang of the machine and the design software, um, I do think that it's pretty easy to use and I have shown um, people of multiple age groups how to use this machine and they've gotten the hang of it with instruction. Um, so children and older adults, they've been able to use this machine um, and also just getting the hang of the uh, software. The software is not really hard to use. Um, it's just you do have to, it, there is a learning curve as far as just learning Again, just all the different things that the software can do and what's out there. So some disadvantages of the Cricut machine is that it is a high price item. And then there's also the cost of the different arts and crafts materials. So the cost of these um, mats, because sometimes they do, um, the adhesive on them starts to wear if you use them often. So you have to replace the mats um, and then just buying the materials to cut um, can kind of get more expensive too. Um, so using our program to your advantage to demonstrate this item where we would come out and show you um, how to use it and then also using our program to see to loan out the item to see if this is a good fit for you before making the purchase is something that I would definitely take advantage of um, before purchasing a Cricut because sometimes um, just technology in itself can be another disadvantage, um, getting the hang of using the design space, software, using the machine, um, knowing if this is something for you, um, that's just a good thing to know before you go out and spend almost $400 on 
um, this type of device or tool. Um, there's also a little hiccup with the design of it. So Android users, they cannot use the full print to cut feature. Um, they have a couple extra steps that they have to use, that they have to take um, if you're an Android user. Um, iOS, Apple, Mac users, um, they can use the full capabilities on whatever device. So um, that's fine, but if you're an Android user, you do have to take an extra step if you're using that print to cut option. Um, and then there's also some in-app purchases. So Cricut has different um, designs that are already pre-made and they also have um, fonts that they have already in their system. Um, and you'll have to purchase a monthly subscription to have access to those. There's ways around that, like you can download your own fonts that you um, get and then you can also create your own designs. But if you want that faster, um, those pre-made, different designs that Cricut already has, um, you do have to pay for that subscription. On screen, a video of Asian A. Thomas placing paper onto a Cricut cutting mat and using the Cricut cutting machine. It doesn't really have to be lined up all the way, but So that was the Cricut Maker Machine. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in trying out this machine um, or learning more about how to use this machine or other ways that um, AT can be useful for you, please feel free to contact us. Um, we are the Michigan Assistive Technology Program and I, my name is Asian Thomas. I'm the Youth Assistive Technology Specialist.